Hi everyone, today we're going to make the second part of the Space Invaders game. If you haven't watched the previous video, stop watching this, okay? Go there, have a look at it, and after that, come back here. But if you have, I'm going to tell you all the things we're going to do. We're going to increase the horizontal speed of aliens, also the vertical speed, also the shooting speed, and if I feel like I will tell you a couple of animations that we can include in our game to make it even more professional. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, first of all, we're going to create the different levels. So we need a variable. That's going to be level. Everything we're going to code is going to be in the alien, so let's go to the alien and we're going to do the following. At the beginning of the game, we're going to set level to zero. Why zero? Because after setting these first things, and by the way, set aliens left is going to go here. After setting these things, the creation of the clones is going to be done when it receives next level. And this is going to receive it when it is broadcasted after clicking on the green flag and also whenever we run out of aliens. So here, when we run out of aliens, when aliens left equals zero, we're going to broadcast next level and delete the last alien. So when do we win? We will win when I receive next level and we are in level four, which means that we have finished the first three levels. The variable level equals four, but we are not going to play level four. We're going to switch back up to victory. So If level is less than 4, we're going to create clones. But if not, we're going to switch back to, to victory and stop all. Whenever I receive next level, we're going to change level by 1. And now we have to check if it works. But in order not to waste a lot of time, I'm going to change the weight that I have between one of my missiles and the next. So that's going to be the first thing in the spaceship. I'm going to wait zero seconds. In this way, I can shoot this fast and I can check it out way more quickly. And also, I'm going to make the spaceship missiles be deleted whenever we go to the next level. So, spaceship missiles and when I receive next level, delete clone. And now let's try our game. Okay, level two. Three. And four. This is correct. Okay, next part. I am going to create more aliens in each level. So, um, we are not going to be creating 20 aliens in each level. I'm going to create a formula that will create 20 aliens in the first level, 30 in the second, and 40 in the third. Look, we're going to do this. The number of aliens created is going to be 20 plus, and I'm going to do this. Oh my god. Level minus 1. And this is going to be multiplied by 10. And this is going to be here. So, if level is level 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Multiplied by 10, 0. Plus 20, 20. In level 2, 2 minus 1 is equals 1. 1 times 10 is 10. Plus 20, 30. And in level 3, 
3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times 10 is 20, plus 20, 40. So you will see, I'm going to show you only what happens in the second level. Now I have 30, and in the next, 40. So now let's go to the most interesting part. I'm going to create variables to control the horizontal speed, the vertical speed, and the weight between the alien missiles. So I need alien x velocity, alien y velocity, weight, and this one is increase difficulty. I will explain to you why I'm creating this. So let's go little by little. Here I have the x velocity of my aliens. So it's not going to be 1, it's going to be alien x velocity. But at the beginning of the game, before we create the clones, we're gonna set x velocity to 1. In the case of the y velocity, which is this, at the beginning, we're gonna set it to negative 0 0.05. In the case of the weight, which is here, the weight is going to be 100, so we will pick random between 100 and 200, so 200 will be weight plus 100 and we will set at the beginning of the game this weight to 100 and I'm also going to set increase difficulty to zero and I will explain to you now what we're going to do with it increase difficulty is going to be counting the number of aliens I'm killing whenever I have killed five aliens we're going to increase the speed of the aliens and reduce the weight and we will set increase difficulty to zero again. Five more aliens killed. We increase speed again, we reduce weight, and so on. Whenever we kill an alien, whenever an alien is touching spaceship missile, we are going to change increase difficulty by one. And now, if... I'm gonna duplicate this. If increase difficulty equals five, I'm gonna put it here. We're going to change several things. We're going to change alien x velocity by 0 0.5. It was one at the beginning, so every five aliens we kill, it will increase by 0 0.5. Also, we're going to increase, well, actually decrease the alien y velocity by this. Also, we are going to decrease the weight by 10. And finally, we are going to set increase difficulty to zero again to start counting one more time. Although I'm thinking that it's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be better to do this when increase difficulty is more than four. In case we kill two aliens quickly and we pass from 4 to 6. Okay, let's try what we have done. Well, as you see, the aliens are moving way faster now. Perfect. Okay, now let's do the animations I promised at the beginning of the video. First of all, we will start with the spaceship. We're going to create acceleration to the horizontal movement of the spaceship. Let's go. We need one variable, it can be for this sprite only if you want, which is gonna be x velocity. And look, whenever we click right arrow, well, we press right arrow or left arrow, we're going to change this x velocity by one, in the case of right arrow, and negative one, in the case of left arrow. I don't need this. I'm going to move this so that you see it clearly and after the, the explanation I will put it back. The movement in the X is going to be changed or determined by X velocity. 
but there must be something that reduces this velocity if we are not pressing left or right arrow. And that's going to be this. We're going to set constantly x velocity, and I'm going to multiply it by a number which must be lower than 1, for example, 0 0.9. And now we can put it back. And look at the movement, which looks way more professional. If you don't want it to glide that much, you can reduce this number, for example, 0 0.8. And there you go. And if you want to increase the speed a little bit, you can put 1.2 and negative 1.2. Now it's a bit faster, but stops faster as well. Okay, I'm going to hide all those variables, except level. Now let's make the final animation which is going to be a next level message whenever we pass to the next level. So let's create it quickly. Next level pixel. Let's make it big. I'm going to pick the color of the um, of the spaceship. I'll use it to color it. Let's call it next level and the program will be the following. When green flag clicked, obviously it's going to be hidden and it will react when I receive next level. What is it going to do? Well, let's put it in X0, Y0, the center. At the beginning, we're going to set size to the minimum. Let's see that and we're going to make it grow quickly um, change size by 10 that way after growing we're going to change color maybe 50 times change color effect like that and then we're going to reduce its size again and we will hide it. So, I have to show it at the beginning. So the effect will be that. And after that, we have to create the clones. So, if I go to the alien, the clones are not going to be created when they receive next level, because if not, they will be created as I'm seeing the message here. The clones will be created when they receive create clones. Who is going to send this message? The next level object after having done the animation. But now the question is, do I want this animation whenever I receive next level? No, only when we pass to the second or to the third level, not to the first one and not to the fourth, which is the victory message. So we need a condition, which will be if, and I'm going to take everything except this one, this one has to be out of the condition. If level equals two or three, we will do this, but now the, sorry, alien. The change level is not going to be done here. Going to be done here, right before checking if we are in numbers 2 and 3. And if I haven't made any mistakes, this should be perfect. Let's try. Next level. Very good. Next level. Now we're in level three. And victory. So the game is perfect. Now I'm going to play it again, but obviously without cheating.
wait one second and let's play this game. Okay, perfect. This is the end of the tutorial. I think we've made a great game. So now it's your turn. Put it into practice and write in the comments if you have any problem. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.